Okay, so this is going to be a quick one. Uh, we already discussed how to make your own smart material in the last last week class. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make smart materials of all the materials that we have created on our torso. Then we are going to move to our leg and drag and drop those guys in and define the mask for the leg area. We can instance few of the layers like the base color of the metal and stuff but as I discussed before instancing gets pretty hard on your computer and sometimes it crashes in so we are not going to use it much we're just going to stick with smart material for now so let's go in and start with our cloth the same way which we started our torso so let's go to our torso I'm going to reset my user interface so I see my shelf smart material I'm going to scroll down black cloth mat that's gonna be the name of our smart material i'm gonna go to my mask and make sure i don't have any paint if i do i'm just gonna delete that uh for this this is our main folder that defines where the cloth goes so i'm gonna delete both of these oh wait let's undo that let's duplicate this one let's name it smart mat let's delete these guys these guys and if I open it up I'm gonna go to each mask and make sure I don't have any paint Okay, this is our original one, so let's not touch that. So this is our smart mat. Let's click on it, make it smart material. It's gonna be right here. The next thing I'm gonna make smart material is our metal. So let's go to the metal piece, duplicate this guy, name it smart mat. Let's go in and figure out if we don't have any, let's delete these guys and delete every paint which you might have. Do remember we are going to create all of those paint again, but right now we're just going to delete them. Okay, that's it. Let's minimize this, right click on this one. We have our smart mat. I'm going to delete the duplicate which we created. Let's come over to our leg. First thing, delete this guy. This one is our background. Let's drag and drop our cloth. We are not seeing anything because the mask is completely black. So let's come in and define where the cloth goes. Hide a color selection, pick this one, pick this one, and make the tolerance zero. What else do we have? I think this is supposed to be cloth. Okay. Awesome. So we just transferred all the information which we created on top to the bottom layer. It has all the damages and stuff, but the damage is being tiled everywhere. So if you remember last time we created a paint and we deleted all the paint before creating the smart material. So let's go in and create those things again. Let's hide the top stuff. So we're gonna make things from bottom to up. So this is gonna be fine. Our black shiny is gonna define where the shiny parts are. So let's add a paint and if I press M um, I guess I kept these areas as shiny you guys don't have to constrict to that you can look at the original concept dot and figure out where the shiny parts are where the rough one are not rough the hexagonal ones are and that way we can define the shiny parts the same way which we did on the torso apart from that we have 
or damages. So let's enable that. Add a paint, make it multiply, zoom out, press four, make it black, drag. So everything is painted black and everywhere I paint white, our damage is going to show. So we can go in, figure out where the damage should be and paint, paint in those damages there. Sweet. The dirt is going to be the same as the last one. And that's it for our cloth. Let's go in and do the metal. Drag and drop the metal part. We can see nothing right now. So let's go in, add a color selection, picking the metal pieces. Right now, as you can see, it's scratching everywhere. So we are going to go in and, and make the mask soon. So let's go in and make sure everything's working. Let's hide the dirt, scratches, hide. We're going to move from bottom to up. Hide this one. So metal base is fine. Paint is going to be fine. On our paint, let's add a paint mask layer. If I zoom it down, make it divide. Zoom out, press four, make it black, drag. So everything is black. Now I can go in and define where the scratches should be and where it should not. Scroll up, our paint breakup is fine. Height damage is using our paint mask, so that's fine. Scratches will be about the scratches and the dirt is going to be the dirt. Awesome, so I have transfer, transferred my cloth and metal down. I'm going to leave the rest of the material to you guys. All you have to do is make the smart material, drag it down, assign the mask, the same thing which we did on the torso. So that's basically it, how you texture metallic or non-metallic asset on your character. Nothing special, everything that we have constructed and everything that we will construct in future, most of the things are going to be the same repetitive way, but combined in a bit different manner to get more information. So yeah, it just, it just took us few hours and we almost have a character textured. So it's nothing for you guys to be afraid of. It's pretty easy. Substance has made texturing a lot easier than it used to be. So there it is. Just go in and enjoy.